and I feel like I'm floating. Today, we're gonna turn a pontoon boat into a professional recording studio. What a great day. How do you think this song's gonna yeah. turn out? Yeah, I think it'll turn out good. You know, we'll have like some little water noise in the background and shit. I think it'll be all right. There's uh, an old saying that you should always bring your audio interface around large bodies of water and rental pontoon boat. Fishing poles, check. Snacks, check. Audio interface, check. Microphone, check. My laptop, course. Headphones, check. Fishing license, check. It's the latest Walmart promotion. If you buy an audio interface, you get a year of an inland fishing license for free. I don't tell you about it. Him, Recording a song at full speed on a pontoon boat. <laughs> That'd it's, be just, it's just wind. All you hear is <laughs> Can you get a reel up and find a recording spot after this? Yeah. Right, which way do you want me to go? Veronica, how's your insurance? Mandatory rule to play chicken with every boat you see. This time, let's get it. on a boat. Yeah, so I'm chilling, catching vibes in the sunshine. And I'll make my life sublime and it's all mine. Look at the wave, do they notice? Working all night, do they know this? So I need to put down my phone. ADHD, need a focus. Every time I cast, I get no fish. And I feel like I'm floating. I've been on the gas for a minute. So how would you rate, on a scale of 1 to 10, recording a song on a pontoon boat, Stuart? The environment and the energy, probably like an 8 or a 9, it's because like, nine. it was great to be out there, great views, but like, as far as the wind goes, it was extremely frustrating to record. At one point, there was this, um, an asshole, bro. Like, he just, he, I mean, he, it's not his fault. He didn't know we were on a pontoon boat recording a song. But he just decided to, like, roll by us, like, six or seven times, like, trying to flip his kids off this fucking tube. And, I mean, I get it. Like, when I'm a father, I'm gonna be trying to do the same shit. But, like, come on now. We were trying to make some, some art. It was really funny to see uh, people looking at us while we were recording. I'd say out of ten, probably, like, a four. Like, I'd say would not repeat. Yeah, I'd say yeah, three point five out of ten. Doable, but like not Solid. worth it. Together, we probably rate this experience a three point seven five out of ten. <laughs> for this setup, we had to get a little creative with our power. So we got this power dock for Ego batteries that you usually use for lawn mowers from Lowe's. We plugged in a power strip to our power supply and then used that to power our Art Tube channel preamp as well as the laptop charger. Channel path in this setup started with our V57M microphone from MXL. That went into our Art Pro channel preamp, which went into our Focusrite Scarlet Solo. And that went into FL Studio Producer Edition on a Razor Blade 15 Advanced. We got most of this equipment used. We're gonna link everything in the description as far as like what we used in this uh, setup. If you guys like this video and want more like it, make sure to subscribe and let us know where we should record next. Hit the bell.